everyone, I'm Claire Curry, Science Librarian at the University of Oklahoma. Today in Options for Remote STEM Research, video 23 is going to cover part 3 of Data Sources for STEM. I am actually the subject librarian whose departments we're going to talk about today, so I work with biology, geography and environmental sustainability, and microbiology and plant biology. What we're going to do is visit guides.ou.edu slash data underscore resources slash data sets, and we're going to look at some of the life sciences and geography data sets that can be helpful. So you can click on the link given in the slide, or you can navigate directly from going to guides.ou.edu. And here, before we looked at subject, this time we're going to look at special topics. So you can scroll down here and see data analytics and visualization. It's just going to take you to a data guide, and we're going to scroll down on the left here and look for data sets. This is going to include some subject specific areas, so geography and sustainability, as well as some of the other departments may want to use spatial data sets, so we'll click straight to those. We've talked about these more extensively in the spatial data sets video. And then we can scroll down here to look at some of our other resources. We have environmental and sustainability databases, which again may be used in all three departments that I work with, as well as other departments. Life sciences data sets can be relevant for both microbiology and plant biology, as well as the biology department. And you can see certainly here, like the gene ontology research, that's going to be relevant for multiple departments. You can scroll down here and see we do have a specific box for NCBI, the National Center for Biotechnology Information. If you're working with genetics, it's something really commonly used, and we have a lot of links to some of the most helpful of their tutorials. If you have questions about these data sets, this is a great time to book an appointment with your sub subject librarian, whether that's me or for another department, to search for your data and learn about repositories that may be more specialized for your area of research. We're going to have a live Q&A for these videos about data sets on July 22nd at 11 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Central Daylight Time. I'll be joined by my fellow STEMS librarians, Amanda, Brent, and James. Registration is required to get the Zoom link. You can register at libraries.ou.edu slash events. Look for the July 22nd event. More videos in this series, as well as announcements about our other live events and workshops, are available on Twitter, as well as the Data Analytics and Visualization Informatics Syndicate. This is at libraries.ou.edu slash davis, and you can scroll down to the listserv subscription. You can view past videos in this series at bit.ly slash oustemyt. Please contact me if you have any questions or comments. Thanks for joining us, and stay safe out there.